As, 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 you all, as you all know that uh, Nyeri is one of the leading counties in uh, non-communicable diseases, diabetes and uh, what have you. And uh, looking at those statistics, that pushed us, us more to, to, to do what we are doing today. And we thank God that uh, many people are, are really appreciating the need, the need, the need to, to keep fit. People, we are thankful that people are really appreciating the need to, to keep fit and the why someone needs to, 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 to be uh, consistently exercising. And uh, clients started coming in, we, we, market, we, put our, we market ourselves through the social platforms and people started coming in big numbers. Uh, but la li earlier this year, oh, the nation of the world was hit by a epidemic, that is a coronavirus that we have until today. And from that time, uh, gym was uh, classified as one of the hotspots for where someone you pick coronavirus. And out of fear and taking care, the, our clientele vacated our out of that fear. Business-wise, uh, we were really hit hard. We have not, uh, we, we were not in business since March, until recently when the President uh, and the, the Minister of Health relaxed uh, some of the, the guidelines that they, ha that they had put. From home, you know, when you are seated in your coach and uh, the fridge is just next to you, People thought that they were putting on weight and they were waiting for this time. They were asking us, when shall we open? We are telling them, no, wait for the, 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 the government to relax the rules and you, you start coming in. So from September, you can say that we have started receiving our clientele back. Very many people are coming in, but we are trying to, to split our classes. That's why we organize with the other administration to split our classes so that we keep the social distance and uh, continue keeping uh, uh, adhering to what... To what, to what uh, the government is, is advising. So I would say from March to, to September, even now the, the, that we have threatened to close down the premises. So now that we are not even able to pay, to pay our, to pay our, to pay, to pay rent. And we told them, wait, guy, we've been with you for two years. There's no way you can come one day and tell us that to vacate your premises. And you know, it's not our, it's not our own making. My name is Edwin Mungandishu an advocate of the High Court practicing here in Nyeri. I've been uh, attending Planet Gym since 2018 and I've never stopped until on or around March of 2020 when COVID struck and they had to close down the gym for a couple of months until on or around September. As you're aware, the courts also closed down so I was literally doing nothing. The gym would have been my escape since we were, we were not going to court. But unfortunately, the gym was closed as well, so it affected me greatly. But I'm, back that the, I'm glad that the government was able to at least open up and uh, advise gyms and uh, other, other sports facilities to, to open up while observing the protocols by the Ministry of Health. Then September, November, coming to October and November, we have been able to, at least you can say that we are not really in business, we are not... Uh, we are not really breaking through, but at least we can be able to pay some of our, we can pay water, we can pay electricity, we can pay the landlord, we can pay our gym, we can pay our trainer, we can pay the gym administrator, but actually we are not in business. We are just there floating, waiting that uh, things will be normal uh, sooner than later, so that we can go back. Either to, but uh, we, are, we are not really, uh, why we are doing this, we are not really pushed by the money, but by our passion to promote uh, uh, healthy living, through fitness. That is what drives us. Our customers, that push is what drives us. And we can say that we are not making money as an entity. We would, we would close doors, but we are saying, no, this is not our passion. This is not our, our objective. We have, a, we have a bigger goal of uh, really assisting our, the society to, to, live, to live a healthier and productive life. I'm a client here at Planet Gym. What I would like to tell people in the wake of COVID, keep safe, keep distance, eat healthy, exercise and we'll overcome this pandemic. People as we go, uh, people are really appreciating the need for fitness and I would like to advise people 
this should be our third basic need after food, shelter, and clothing. Fitness is something you, you cannot afford uh, to live without. People need to live all their lives. I will tell you, you live longer when you exercise. The kind, of, the, the kind of challenges that we have here is that you don't know the partner that you're training next to. You don't know where they've been, you don't know who they've interacted with. So there's an element of risk, but uh, there's a cost-benefit uh, to it because working out is way better than just staying at home because you're afraid of COVID. Yeah, so that, that's the main risk that I've observed. You really don't know who you're training next to. You don't know if they're infected or not. One, it promotes uh, discipline. You know, when you leave your house, you go to work. After work, you come to the gym. You know, it's a ther you get your therapy, you go back home, you bathe, and you relax with your family. It's one major thing that I would wish that people take very seriously and afford it, as a, or, or use it, as, or take it as, a, as, a, as one of their daily basicness because you really put the doctor away. I when you work out you are on the safer side because your immune system also gets stronger, you are healthy, uh, you, you also learn to eat well because you don't want to be in the gym every day and nothing is changing. So I think coming to the gym will really help a lot of people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10,